Hello and welcome to I Hate Code Names. Shout out to Ruben Bressler. My name is Levi Thomas. I hate card games. I really should just change the name of this channel to I Hate My Fucking Computer because uh, basically I've been trying to record a video for the past three weeks or so. I took about a week off after the lore video and uh, because I was moving into a new place. Uh, but then after that I tried to record a new video and three different times over the course of three weeks uh, my computer just shut off mid-recording. I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you, but it is extremely demoralizing. That being said, I've just finally built up the energy to try again, and I'm gonna hope this recording goes well. We're back in standard for the first time in a long time, uh, with sort of an egg storm deck. The only reason that I really have been interested in standard recently is there are actually multiple uh, combo decks. Uh, I'm a big fan of alternate win conditions and cheaty things. And Aether Flux Reservoir is a card that caught my eye in the new Kaladesh set. So I tried to build around it. I noticed there was a few different versions of this deck. I saw a Sultai version that had very few lands and was running like a tune with Aether. I think it got taken to the SCG Open. I'm not entirely sure how well it did. Uh, that one was running Crush of Tentacles, I'm pretty sure, and some other you know, different spells. So this is my take on the deck. As you can see, we're not running Crush of Tentacles, which seems to be like a key card in this deck. I did try Crush of Tentacles, but I found that the whole wiping everybody's board and then trying to refill your board, it just wasn't my cup of tea. That that deck played out a lot more like a control deck, whereas I wanted to go a little bit faster. But my version's a little more streamlined. We're just running four ofs throughout the entire deck. So this version is relying on, instead of getting to the late game where we have a lot more lands, we're instead just going to try and cheat out our artifacts by playing things like Foundry Inspector and Harold of Kozilek. So basically what we're going to try and do is get two of these guys on the board. That makes all of our uh, sort of artifact cantrips, the prisms and the puzzle knots, cost zero. And then we already have the zero cost bone saw and Cathar shield and the reservoirs only cost two. So then once you have um, a reservoir down or two, um, and two of these guys, you can paradoxical outcome all of the artifacts you've played, replay them all, draw a bunch of cards, ideally you draw more two mana cantrip cards um, that you can just play for free off the Herald and Foundry and win that way. So we're basically trying to go as fast as possible. The fastest I've got this off in practice is a turn six victory, but you can goldfish this deck for like a turn five or sometimes even a turn four with the right draw. The land base is a very simple blue-red splash black for puzzle knot cracking and various sideboard cards, which we'll get to. I also added in two Inventors Fair because I felt like if you're going to play that card, this is the deck to do it in. As for the sideboard, we're running uh, Dispels, Invasive Surgeries, and things against Control. Also, Torrential Gear Hulk comes in against Control. Um, and then some anti-aggro stuff. We have three copies of Radiant Flames, Aether Meltdown and contraband kingpin so best case scenario i'll get a full recording off this time i'm sorry i'm eating i'm very hungry and worst case scenario my computer shuts off midway i go missing and you never hear from me again so anyways let's get to the games should probably be noted i'm probably not going to play hearthstone for a while uh at least until ben brode stops blocking me on twitter so our opponent's on some sort of green stompy deck it looks like our opponent hand lotion is disconnected. We'll give hand lotion a minute to reconnect. In the meantime, I'm gonna go watch videos of Asian girls eating food on YouTube. Be back in a sec. It's funny that while we disconnected with this hand lotion, I just went and connected with my own hand lotion. All right, I feel like two minutes is generally enough time, so I swear to God, I cannot get a single clean game of magic recorded for my life. This feels worse than that time that I found out earwigs could fly. So our opponent's on some sort of teamer energy deck or maybe it's just like a teamer go wide deck the good thing is they don't have much interaction so i was at the airport the other day watching people hug as i do i saw a carrot top like going through security little known fact though that carrot top is actually like a huge supporter of national security because like i was tr i was like going up to like say hi and like as he was going through he got up to the tsa agent and was like i gotta give you props all right, he got us on this one. God fucking damn it. All right, 
Opening on Port Town makes me think that it's either some sort of Bant creature deck or Blue White Control or Blue White Spirits. Two of those are aggro, so I'm going to play as if it's aggro. All right, it is Blue White Control. All right, if this resolves, we win. So let's hope it resolves. We're going to go a little bit higher than usual because of summary dismissal. All right, he scoops. He did not have summary dismissal. What do you guys think is the best overall Dockers or Levi's? My new job is kind of messy. As it turns out, Big Giant Snapcaster Mage is actually a good card. So one of my friends asked me, he was like, would you ever date a fan? And I was like, not after what they did to all those Korean people. I just don't trust them. I think we need to dig deeper into that issue, find out what actually happened. All right, so he casts second Quarantine Field for three, and I honestly don't see a way that we come back from this. And of course, no one plays me till the end. Well, we're back with the deck, and after a frustrating three goes at it, we could still not get anybody to completely play us through for three games. I was pretty impressed with what our deck did in those games, though. It beat Control Game 1, and it beat Mono Green Stompy as well. I swear, I feel like the guy from Stan Lee's Superhumans, whose power was like he could run real fast on all fours, but he was still like slower than the average athletic person on two feet. Like, I just feel like I just spent all this time and nobody gives a shit, and it was just all nonsense. Also, at the very least, the computer didn't shut off, so you guys are actually getting a video, so that's cool. As for the future of my video making, I'm really just not 100% sure how this computer is holding up. Um, and right now, I just don't have it in the budget to get a new computer. I'm going to keep trying at least once a week to make a video for you guys, but, like, it's just draining sometimes when you you know, record for multiple hours and then it just is gone in like two seconds. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hate card games.